Hey, man. Yeah, I'm Todd. Hey, I'm Trey. Hey, Trey. Hey, good to meet you, man. Yeah, you abortion, Annie? Uh, well, we're uh, we're abolitionists, yeah. which uh, aren't like pro-lifers at all. Yeah. Uh, pro-lifers regulate when, where, and how you yeah. can have abortions. They never try to make it illegal. Yeah. You know, like a, an abolitionist, uh, we call it murder. Yeah. Like when you kill a baby, it's it's murder. It doesn't matter what. Cause like a lot of people, a lot of Christians. I'm a Christian, by the way. Yeah. Believe that um, they're ageist, right? Ageist. Ageist, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, when you get it to a certain age, yeah. then you're protected by the law. Yeah. Then you have value, you know? Yeah. And uh, so, like, what happens is all these, pa like, in, in Texas, there's 30,000 Christian churches, yeah. 70,000 pastors, right? Yeah. And there's 13,000 kids, like these right here, yeah. that are in foster care waiting to be adopted. They're just waiting for somebody yeah. to adopt them. My, my family's adopted three kids. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I completely agree with that. And but I have noticed around Texas, it's a big thing to be part of a church, whereas you go to California, the people straight up tell you I'm going to hell. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and it's kind of like, if, if I shot a guy, I could call that a late term abortion. It's, right. Same thing, it, right? Age isn't a concept. If it, it's, isn't a factor. If it's a kid. It's a kid. Hey, Cindy, can you bring me one of our flyers? Yeah, you're, you're totally right, yeah. man. It's That's ageism, right? To believe yeah. that, well, once you reach a certain age, then you have value, yeah. you know? Um, so, but... Uh, yeah, we're uh, the abolitionist society of yeah. Little Elm, just like of slavery, the abolitionists of slavery. Yeah. Uh, it's the same exact thing, you know? And, and so we don't like hate this church or these yeah. people, you know? I mean, this is a yeah. corporation. It's a 501c3. It's a business, right? It's, yeah. a, it's a corporation. It's not really the church. The are church- they, Is Stonebury ageist? What? Is are they- Stonebury ageist? I don't know about Well, they're, they're, they would consider themselves pro-life. Yeah. Um, so, but the problem is, is like when, when the Texas governor tries to make a law saying, well, you can't talk about homosexuality in churches and you have yeah. to submit your sermons to the state, all the pastors will get together, right? Yeah. And they'll all protest it. Yeah. But they've been killing babies for like 44 years yeah. and, and they don't care. They're not doing anything about it, you yeah. know? I mean, some of them open up crisis pregnancy centers or support crisis yeah, pregnancy that's centers. That's the one thing I don't, uh, is all these, uh, these church groups get really upset about homosexuality being legal and all that stuff and nobody really cares about the yeah. abortion or... Right, and they'll support crisis pregnancy yeah. centers, but it does. if we had a million more crisis pregnancy centers, yeah. abortion would still be the number one cause of death. I mean, yeah. we have 60,000 of them every year in Texas, yeah. you know? That, that's why so many people think, you, you hear all this stuff, God hates gays and stuff like that. It's because the churches target gays for some reason, where we don't care about the starving people, we don't yeah. care about the abortions. Right, and we're filthy rich. I mean, I think this yeah. church probably has like a $20 million a year, $30 million a year budget. Yeah. You know, I mean, imagine $30 million going into affect the community, yeah. you know, but it goes into like the building, like, uh, I, I, like I saw from Ch Chuck Swindoll, I saw a, uh, a thing, um, the state of the church. So yeah. I thought he was going to talk about the body of Christ, but yeah. no, he was saying that they borrowed over $30 million to build this building. Yeah. And in 2018, they'll only owe 7 million more. You know, and it's like, well, wait a minute, that's not the, like you're the church. Yeah. I'm the church. Yeah. You know, the building is nothing to do with the church. Yeah. You know, it's just a place where people meet. Yeah, right. The church so, is a community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's people. So, but you know what? You're like the second guy that came out to say, hey, wh what's going on? Yeah. You know, and, and you know what? That's a very godly, responsible thing to do yeah. because we should do that. Right. Yeah. Like, what if we were crazy people and we were going to go around killing people? Like, yeah. they should have people come out and go, okay, they're, they're nonviolent. Yeah. They're, they're, they're Christians. They're just like upset of, about abortion, yeah. you know. Um, but they don't do that, yeah. you know. So, but I appreciate you coming out and yeah, yeah, it was nice talking. meeting you. Yeah, it was good meeting you too. Yeah, I'm Trey. It, it, yeah, and that's my wife Stephanie and my yeah. daughter Cindy and Aiden's my son and oh, that's cool. and that's uh, Brian. Oh. So, um, do you guys go to a church? Uh, we do home church. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, it's more uh, it's like a biblical church, yeah. you know, like like a Bible study or yeah. Well, no, it's like real you know real fellowship we get together yeah. we eat first and then we uh talk oh, about other people yeah okay, yeah other people come to our house yeah. and it's like a it's it's like a um axe like an axe yeah. you know oh, that's cool. so um it's not it's not we're not a corporation or nothing we yeah. just christians come together in my house yeah, i like that and uh, in the bible it says the pastor should know his church right we've got yeah, like have you ever? People, I don't think our pastor knows. He didn't know anybody, right? I mean, like, have you ever been to your pastor's house for dinner? No. Has he ever been to yours? No. <laughs> he's not your pastor. Yeah. He, he's he's is. your administrator. Yeah. And I don't believe in the separate segregations. You got the high school, the middle school. Right. It's because yeah, what they do. The this is what they do. Like, I got a video out. 
uh, it talks about this, but you know, people are sitting there having their Starbucks, yeah. they send their kids off and they get their little time of peace and relaxation, yeah. you know, and they get to sing some songs and then hear a guy talk, right? Yeah. It's like it, basically what, what these buildings have become are mini country clubs. Yeah. Like before in the South, the rich men would go to their country clubs on yeah. Sunday and they would hang out, you know, and they would have a nice drink and they yeah. would, you know, just chill, right? But now nobody does that. This, these are our country clubs, you yeah. know? And meanwhile, we got like down the street, babies, like 3,000 will be killed every single day. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it's just, so we're just saying, hey, look, this is the evil of our land. Yeah. And we should be, expose it and do something about it. Yeah, you that's know? cool. So, yeah. I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, thanks, Trey. You have a good day. Yeah, have a, you too.